Okay, right, so I thought we would, I thought I'd just do a little video of me working on this, um, uh, this bay horse, this bright bay horse called Henry. Um, it's an absolute delight and I'm just working on this sort of area here at the moment under his jaw. So I thought I'd just do a little video just so that you could uh, see how I blend some of the colours and uh, create this lovely bright sort of rusty coloured um, coat. Okay, I'm just blending a little bit that I've already um, done. I was actually working on this bit here but then I've just picked up a pencil and thought I'd just work on another little area. That's something that I do all the time actually with my pencils. I think some people um, sort of work in a tiny little area and, and get it finished so they might just work in this little area and um, and finish that completely and then move on and it's, it's not something that I find that easy to do. I think it goes back to painting days really um, before I did coloured pencils I uh, did watercolours um, and still do actually, I still do love uh, watercolours um, but when you when you mix up watercolours and you, um, you have it on your brush you tend to put a colour down so for instance I put this colour here but then because you've got the watercolour on your brush you don't want to keep washing your brush and reloading it so you look for other areas so for instance here you look for other areas that um, might have the same colour and I think that has just stuck with me I find it really natural even when I've got my pencil um, in hand and it's not my paintbrush I find it really natural to be working in one area and then looking around so I'm already like for instance looking up here um, this this area is not finished yet. Um, in fact, there isn't much area of it that is finished. I've got to go back over quite a bit of it. Um, but yeah, so I'll be looking for other areas. Whilst I've got my pencil in my hand, I'm looking for other areas that um, use the same colour. And that just, I find that really, really natural to do that. I don't find it natural to say, right, OK, I'm just going to work in this bit. Put all the colours down that are in this bit and then call that done and move on it just um it's just not natural for me and i think um i've heard people say before oh, you know i was all over the place with the drawing and i think i mean there is no right or wrong to be honest it's whatever works for you and if you were a painter and you've come from perhaps a watercolor background rather than um you know some people start with with the like the adult coloring books and things i think that might just make a little bit more sense that uh, you pick a pencil up it's the same as having loaded your brush up with watercolour and you're looking where else you can use that colour before you put your pencil down it just you know just makes sense to me but there is no right or wrong if if it works for you if it's comfortable and if you um, have the result you want at the end well does it matter how you did it no it doesn't matter it doesn't matter um, you know as I say it's and I've said many times on the workshops that I've done over the years art is an art it's not a science there is no right way to do something there's a million ways to do something and whatever works for you there's no right there's no wrong way so anyway okay so I'm just so this is the the cheekbone here and I'm just using a little bit of the Van Dyke brown just to bring in a little bit of the, the depth under this um, this little bit of bone part of his sort of cheek structure or the side of his face and Van Dyke brown is quite a pinky brown so I'm layering my colours down layering my washes down and then I'm just using this to just give a suggestion this Van Dyke brown to give a suggestion of Uh, some of the the direction of the fur and 
he is quite a uh, quite an ochre colour so I'm just using the burnt ochre in the polychromos range just to blend it out a little bit. My pencils aren't uh, super sharp. You can see that I've actually got a little bit of a, a flat bit right on the end. Um, I find when I've got that flat bit, I find it's a lot easier to um, uh, create like the, the washes. Again, that's just going back to a, a watercolour term, really. I, I draw and colour uh, like I would if... I was doing a watercolour painting so I'd put my base layer down um, then just put sort of your washes on to create the colours and blend the colours on the um, actually on the paper um, and then put the details on top so I find that when I'm at this sort of uh, blending stage blending of the colours I don't actually need my pencils overly sharp uh, sharpish so that I've got control over them but then I tend to put like a nice little flat edge on them and that just uh, works to build up the colour on the page really just like you'd mix a, um, <clears throat> a palette uh, watercolours in a palette Just so that it makes sense, I'm just going to start, actually, let me go up above that. I'm just going to start to take this up as well. down here and this bit's actually going to start to go into the grey in a minute because it's going to go into the muzzle so let me come back this uh, this is a bit of paper down um, this is glassine paper but you could use a bit of copier paper um, something that's acid free ideally uh, just to protect so that I don't get the oils out of my hand and onto the page Sienna. and then I'm going to so I'm going to use a little bit of nugget because there's a bit that comes down here and I'm just going to bring that down first um, and just joins the end of uh, this and that's something I do um, with the drawing I'm always looking for landmarks so I'm always like looking at the angle that things will come and where it joins up with something else always looking for a landmark um, which is again another reason that I think that I take one pencil and then go around the page using it because I'm all, all whenever I'm doing something I'm always looking at the next bit that I might you know see that joins up to it or um, the landmarks make it easier to uh, to work with and then this is walnut brown which is actually quite a nice ready brown and it's going to just intensify uh, 
the shadow on that little bit of bone structure there and this also just a little bit here there we go and that's quite dark there actually it needs to be a little bit darker it's also part of um, his cheekbone This Henry has a beautiful colour coat. It's um, he's he's a bright bay. Um, I've got one myself actually that's quite similar. Um, and at the, the minute with his summer coat on, um, he's also got the black mane and the and sort of like the bright. Uh, the brown and the bright chestnut sort of body but with the, the orangey tones and I've got one at the minute um, one of mine is a bright bay and with his summer coat on because he's lost his winter coat now he looks the most beautiful rust colour um, I keep looking at him and thinking I really must get a picture and um, and draw you and I haven't done it yet but I will do hopefully before he gets his winter coat back. Okay, so I'm just looking at the picture and I'm just looking what the reference picture, I'm just looking what's in here. Oh, I was looking at the reference picture, just, let's just blend this out a little bit. And sometimes if I want to blend it a little bit so that I lose the, the strokes, I'm just going to gently use circular motions and that just, uh, I don't know if you can see that on the video, but it has started to just lose these little strokes. And then with the Van Dyke Brown again, I'm just going to put a little suggestion of the hairs. I'm not looking to do everyone, I'm just looking to do a little suggestion. I'm just touching the paper with the pencil really, I'm not even pressing on hard, I'm just uh, gliding the pencil over the paper and just letting it touch and letting the paper just pull off the pigment that it wants to pull off. Here, I'm just going to go back in with the uh, burnt sienna because I can see that it's a little bit more orangey around here actually. that this little dip's coming around there. I think I am going to say, actually, before I say it's finished, this little area, what I'm going to do is just use a rubber, the, the putty eraser, and 
just drag that out a little bit. So I'm just going to knead it so it gives me sort of a pencil. Um, shape. Lighten that up a little bit and then let's go back in with Brown Ochre 10% and just lighten that up a little bit. There we go, that's just lightened that there. Okay, so I think that area's done, we'll call that done. Um, yeah, okay, thanks for watching, bye bye.